So we are now mm. hosting a conference yeah. as part of this yeah. extraordinary collaboration. Yeah. Conference that will take place here in the other place in Stratford upon Avon. Yeah. Uh, in July of 2018, quite yeah, soon. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but a conference not like any other conference. No, and no, because, partly because we because we are attempting to be creative and experimental. But I, I think there's this kind of fundamental simplicity about it. It's radical in the sense that we want to go to the roots of things. Yes. We, we want to we want to know what the theatre is and what it can do now. And similarly. The, with the university and we, we want to know what they can do together and yeah. we want to know what a conference is and what it might be and we want to work it out all together as a as a as a lively group that's not afraid of to ask these questions and to go wrong and to um you know try things out yes absolutely yeah. so so the event will be called appropriately <laughs> radical mischief <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll and we'll try and 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 think in a genuinely radical and um yeah and mischievous way and collective way i, I think yes and yes usually collective Think together yeah. Way, yeah what's excited me about the possibility of us working together on us on this kind of special event is that it mm. could it could really be about the sorts of ideas and thinking and experiences that that theater can offer and that Absolutely. and that scholarship can offer yes i mean just to just to respond to you on that i mean it's bread and milk to the academy is the conference yes. circuit as you know on the other hand you know, because that's so institutionalised, it you know it it could perhaps do with a bit of refreshment. And it seems to me that the I mean the rehearsal room is a model of confer conferring. Yes. And I think that's yes. that's one thing that we really want, isn't it? So in my world, we're used to big name plenary speakers speaking for an hour and people taking notes and 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 you know that could be very stimulating and powerful. Um, and we need that in our culture. But as everybody knows, often it's after a you know, half a bottle of wine at the, you know, the conference dinner or whatever, that the real conversation takes place. Mm. I think one of the things mm. we want to do is rediscover the, you know, the conferring, the conversation yeah. in, in, in the possibility, in the machinery of the conference and therefore re, remake it all a little bit. Yes, and again, from, from the perspective of being in rehearsal rooms, I think sometimes we don't give enough uh, status to the, to the quality of conversations no. that we are able to are, yes. curate <laughs> yeah. and need to curate yeah. in order to bring a quite a, sometimes quite a, uh, a very diverse group yeah. of people together around an idea and to really hear differences of view and, yeah. and differences of response. Um, so I, I'm yeah. excited by, by, by making that kind of primary in yeah. the event. and enabling i suppose our thought has been to enable lots of different kinds of yes. conversations and conferring yeah. different kinds of dialogue held by different kinds of thinkers yeah uh, from, from the theatrical side and from the from the scholarly side and and that we might not know the difference by by no, the end of the no, that would be by the outcome. end of the conference <laughs>